Hey everyone, it's Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're out in the woods on a very gray and windy day here in New Hampshire. And if you've spent any time in the woods, you probably know that having either a saw or an axe can be a great advantage for you when you're in those types of outdoor situations. And there's a wide variety of tools like that that are available out there. I want to show you a new product. It's from the Aus Sable River Company and it's called the Cuts All. And what you see here is the handle and then you can see three different types of blades that are actually included with the saw. So as you can see, it's still in the package. I haven't taken it out, but we're gonna go through some of the details on it. I'll show you very quickly here on the back. They just give you some quick specs on how to take the uh, blades out of the handle, put them into the handle, and then secure them. But we're gonna unpackage this item, take a look and see how it works, and see if this is gonna be a good possibility for you when it comes to a survival or camping or outdoor saw and cutting tool. So here it is out of the package and the first thing I'll tell you is that other than the instructions that I kind of told you about that were on the back of the packing, there's no other instructions. So it should be pretty intuitive on how to actually use it. All right, so since this is my first use, I'm gonna just basically figure this whole thing out on camera. You can see here, uh, we do have a little option to put a lanyard at the bottom. We do have this nice handle and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. We also have this uh, metal top, we've got this kind of orange piece which is to secure the blade and then this lower piece here when you untwist the lower piece you actually get access to the handle and then you've got your three blades here so you have your pruning blade they call this you have your fillet blade here and then you have your carbide blade here so those are the three different options I'm gonna put two of these out of the way I'll put this back together and then it looks like putting the blade on it should be relatively simple. You loosen the top section. I just twisted it to the uh, count uh, to clockwise position. Insert this, and then counterclockwise. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try it again here. There we go. So it's counterclockwise to get the blade in, and then clockwise to actually secure it and now you have the blade actually all set up for you. What I want to show you real quick here is just the size of the saw blade compared to two other knives. This is my Benchmade Griptilian and this is not a mini Griptilian, this is a full size Griptilian and then we also have uh, my Spyderco Bushcraft UK. So just size wise you can see you basically get an extra inch out of the um, out of the saw here and obviously this is you could baton with this you could even baton with this certainly it's not made for uh, the same type of abuse that maybe the bushcraft is but you're getting an inch extra of blade and you are getting a very aggressive saw blade there very good for cutting and we'll actually take a, uh, a look and see how it works right now all right so now we'll go ahead and do some pruning with the pruning blade and the piece of wood that you're looking at the main portion of this downed uh, stick or log is about I would say two and a half inches across and then we have a bunch of other uh, sticks coming off that so I'll use this on uh, this down piece of wood. I will note, you know, this thing is obviously not made for cutting down a 50 year old oak tree. This is a pruning blade. So this is to cut branches out of the way if you're, you know, you have a hunting stand or you're doing something in the woods that doesn't require, you know, a massive bow saw. Uh, this is a great option, it looks like. So we'll test it out and see how it actually works. So as you can see, the pruning blade works fine. Uh, I've cut some branches up to about two and a half inches in diameter, and that works well. Let's move on to some of the other blades. Here's the carbide blade, and we'll take a look to see how it cuts through a galvanized nail. 
leftover piece of the nail and here's what the blade looks like next test will be something a little bit bigger this is a larger bolt and we'll see how the carbide blade works on this top of the bolt. Here's what the cut actually looks like. And then your blade again. Finally we have this set up as a fillet knife and you can see here we've got a mackerel that we're going to actually fillet. So this again is factory edge. I haven't sharpened this or adjusted it at all. This is how it comes exactly from the from the factory. So we'll cut here. And then we'll come in the back side. Let's try not to bump the tripod too much. Come down the side here. And come completely through. Come out this end. And then we'll just start to cut back a little bit here. some of those ribs out of the way and so there you go there's your mackerel fillet you can see I left a couple of bones in there but that is definitely razor sharp cuts very nicely again the fillet blade from the cuts all Wrapping up here talking about the cuts all, I would say based on my experience, if you're an avid outdoorsman, this is a product definitely worth considering. So you're getting your pruning blade, you're getting your fillet knife, and you're also getting your carbide blade all in one compact lightweight setup. You can store all the blades in the handle, it's waterproof. And just think about the fact if you were to pack, you know, a folding saw of some sort like a Laplander, a Corona, and then a fillet knife and a carbide blade as well, you'd definitely be adding a lot of weight and size to your kit or to your gear. So $60 is the MSRP and the website is arcoutdoorgear.com, A-R-C outdoorgear.com so you can check it out over there. And uh, I've been pretty impressed with it so far. So as always, you know, I'll use it and uh, test it out a lot more. And if there's any updates, you'll be seeing posts on the Everyday Tactical Vids YouTube channel and also on our uh, various social media outlets to let you know um, how it's holding up and what's going on with it. So thanks as always for checking out the video. Please like this video and subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube. Check us out and like us over on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And we're also on Tumblr as well. Take care.